Hello there, welcome along. This is a mobile Monday video for tipsquirrel.com. It's the free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, and anything else that we find interesting. In this video, we're gonna take a look at retouching, or at least starting to retouch in Photoshop Fix. Okay, let's jump into Fix and see how it's done. Okay, here I am on my iPad. Thanks again to my friends at Three for their support of this series. And I've got Photoshop Fix up at the top left-hand corner there. I give that a tap. Now I need a new project, so I'm gonna tap on the plus on the left-hand side. And then I'm gonna go over to Lightroom because I've got a load of images synchronized through Lightroom there. Okay, scooch all the way down to the bottom, and there's the image that I want to start retouching. I'm gonna say, open the file there. Okay, once I've done that, I get a whole row at the bottom of the screen of tools. And the one that I'm interested in first is the smooth tool. We're gonna to smooth the skin. So if I tap on that, all I've got to do then is paint in where I want the smoothing to occur. I can change the size of the brush by tapping and then sliding my finger up and down. I can change the hardness of the brush, and I can also change the opacity of the brush there as well. I'm gonna keep the opacity to 100 here and I'll explain why in just a second. I'm gonna bring the size down just a little bit and the hardness, I'll bring that down a little bit. Okay, just with a double pinch there, I can zoom in and out and I can just start painting in the smoothing. Now, I'm painting in far too much smoothing, but this is just so where I can see where I've gone. We will be refining this in Photoshop in just a little while, so there's no real panic here, I can just get on and get done really. This is just doing all the donkey work away from the computer. So I might be able to do this uh, maybe in the train coming home or even with a client themselves, just say, look, this is what we can do with this. Let's have a look at some rough ideas perhaps. All right, nearly done then. Now you notice the size of the brush remains the same and it depends how much I zoom in and out that actually changes the size relative to the image, if that makes sense, there we go. All right, so I've given that a lot of smoothing. In fact, I've given it far too much. And we're gonna deal with that right now by using the buttons at the top left-hand corner. There's a button on the first left-hand side that allows us to change the opacity. So I can bring that down to around about 40% should do nicely for this. I can also bring it up, of course, but I'm gonna bring it down to 40%. Now next to that is a before and after, and that's a button that you have to hold down. So before and after or and after, so I can see how I'm doing. So there we go, that's a smoothing. Like I say, that's just to, to get me going a little bit. If I can tidy it up just a little bit, if I notice I've missed anywhere. Now you'll also notice there's a restore. So if I go anywhere that I don't want to, I can tap on restore, maybe along the uh, eyebrows here. I don't want to really smooth down, there we go. All right, we'll do the lips here as well, just make sure that we haven't done any smoothing there. Good, I'm gonna click the tick. Next, what I want to do is change the eye color. For that, I'm going to use paint. Now, once again, I've got the same brush controls as I had before, size, hardness, and opacity, and I've got color here as well. So I can change her eyes to a nice hazelnut color, perhaps. I'm going to keep the opacity again at 100% and hardness and size as they are at the moment. But it's exactly the same, running my finger up and down to change them. Down the bottom, I can pick a color. I am going to paint, but you'll notice as well, there's a blend. Now what this will do is it'll either put it into blending, as in a color blending mode, or just paint straight down. Let me demonstrate the difference. So if I just start painting in now with this hazelnut color, at the moment I'm in blend, but if I put it into paint, you'll see it's just splodging the color down. I want it in blend, there we go. All right, let's bring that around. And I'm just trying to keep some of the dark around the outside, but not too much. There we go, if I zoom right in, then my brush gets smaller in uh, relative form. There we go. Now again, I've gone way too far. So what I need to do here is just restore this down a little bit, but that's not a problem. And again, we can refine this later in Photoshop. So let's restore that. Just make sure that I haven't gone too far over. Paint that little bit back in again. There we go, all right. Let's go over to the other side, and the other eye, and let's paint that in as well. There we go. I like doing this, it makes me feel creative when I'm doing this as well, like I can actually draw, which anybody that's seen my drawing will know that I really can't draw. So this gives me a nice little feeling that I'm being extra creative. All right, nearly done, there we go, a little bit, and there it is. Okay, good. 
Right, I can restore it if I go in the pupil too much, of course. There we go. And zoom back out again. Now once again, I can change the opacity of this. So top left hand button and bring the opacity down. Maybe something around about 60% should look nice for this. There we go. So there we go. We've made a start on retouching this model, but what I'd like to do is refine it in Photoshop. And that really is very, very easy. If I click the tick here, and then at the top, you can see there's a square with an arrow pointing out the top. In all the Adobe apps, this means to send it off somewhere, to share it. So I'm gonna tap on that, and you can see I've got a send to Photoshop CC. So I'm gonna send that to Photoshop CC. You see it's uploading files, and then it'll say that it's rendering a PSD. And that's a clue as to how we're gonna get it when we come into Photoshop. Now I'm at home on my Wi-Fi network, so this should be pretty quick, but I've been recording the screen here as well as we've been going along. So I'm gonna show you this in real time. But any second now, there it is, the screen pops up with the image that we've been working on. If I go over to this image, you can see that down in the corner here, in the layers, I've got a mask where I did my smoothing and I've got the color already on that paint as well. I'm gonna just zoom in here a bit so we can see it a little bit closer. So there's the paint at the opacity of 61% and the smoothing and opacity of 41%. I didn't quite get it on the 40 and the 60, but that's okay, I can change that right here. I can also do any editing, maybe I want to change the color or maybe just paint it in, paint it out, whatever I like to do. I can do that all here in Photoshop. So there we are, while I'm with the client or on the road, I can start retouching using Photoshop Fix and then when I get back to the office or to my home, I can start doing it here in Photoshop as well. I'm Eric Renault, this has been Mobile Monday for tipsgrill.com. Don't forget to subscribe or even give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.